Here's a look at the Serie A table after Saturday's action. Juventus seven points clear of second place. Lazio, who fell to AC Milan on Saturday. Meanwhile, Juve 4-1 winners over Torino. Gab Marcotti joins us for more. Gab, an impressive scoreline for Juventus. What would you make of the performance? I thought the performance was good in keeping uh, with their recent performances. You know, we saw it against Lecce. We saw it against uh, uh, Bologna. Um, you know, Juventus, I think, showing a lot of personality. And, and then the quality up front um, really making the, the difference. Uh, Torino, Torino are not a good side. They weren't going through a good moment. But, you know, it is still a derby. And there was that moment, you know, when, when they got back we, to 2-1 when, and they kept playing when Juventus needed to kick it up another notch. And, and that's exactly what they did. And, and that's what, that's what title-winning teams uh, look like uh, beyond the quality of the goals, which, again, was pretty special. Gab, not only does Cristiano Ronaldo score, he scores from a free kick, the first in over 40 tries with Juventus. Is he back? Because a couple weeks ago, it seemed like people were ready to say uh, post-break Ronaldo wasn't going to be able to get it back in time. Well, look, I think there's no question that the break uh, affected him and he had turned in some pretty poor performances after the break. Um, you know, he spoke after the game about the free kick uh, giving him confidence. I think he was talking about uh, maybe confidence, more confidence going forward on free kicks because, he, as you said, he'd been on a horrendous run uh, going back to his last two years in, in Madrid. Um, but uh, that said... Um, I, th I don't think the confidence was ever missing from his, uh, from his overall game. He was simply going through a rough patch, I think in part because of the layoff, in part because um, he's at his best when he has a real center forward next to him. Or somebody like Paolo Dybala, uh, who's, who's obviously been, been exceptional uh, the last few, few days. I mean, remember, the, his poor spell when he first came back coincided uh, with him playing that weird formation where... They insisted, or Saudi insisted on having him play through the middle. And, and clearly, that's not a solution for Cristiano Ronaldo. Is that what we found now? I mean, Dybala has been great since the restart. Is this the new role for him with Juventus? I think, look, the main thing with, with Juve's front three is it's going to be about Ronaldo. You put Ronaldo back in Ronaldo's place, and then you figure out the other two guys. Now Gonzalo Higuain, who came on, uh, and I thought looked pretty sharp. Now he's fit again, so now you've got alternatives. You can either uh, go with Dybala through the middle, who's, who's certainly done a job, although you know obviously he will interpret that position uh, differently, or you go with Iguain, who's now fit, and more of a, uh, obviously a traditional uh, center forward. And then you know for your third slot, you can either put Dybala there if you want to go with Iguain through the middle. You've got Bernardeschi, who I think has been playing well. And you still have the option of, of Douglas Costa as well, um, who, of course, scored a great goal the other night and, uh, you know, and also can, can come on and, and do damage, as we've seen. So um, he's got his big guns there. I think, though, with the really difficult run of games coming up, remember, it's not just Milan. Uh, they've also got Atalanta and they've got the big head-to-head -head against Lazio. Um, all these things coming together, I think he's going to need all his weapons and he's going to need the midfield uh, to click. And while... There were uh, there was certainly progress. We got to see how that shakes out against you know a better teams than the ones that they've they've faced in the last couple of games. Gab, yeah, you mentioned them. What's going on with Lazio? This team was one point behind Juventus at the restart. They've lost twice already uh, since then, including today's disastrous performance against AC Milan. Yeah, and of course, in the last two games that they won, they they had to come behind come from behind. I mean, look, the the easy and quick answer is. Uh, Lazio have two viable uh, center forwards, Felipe Caicedo and Ciro Immobile. Both those guys are out. You're going to need to kind of reinvent yourself. And, you know, this is a team that, um, you know, they, they, I mean, they can beat you in different ways, but if they don't have the center forwards, it's really only going to happen for them uh, on the counter. And with Milan scoring first, I think that option went out the window. Um, but, you know, Milan, I think, played really well. I, I think Milan have certainly... Uh, turned it on at times um, since coming back. I think Romagnoli is being a real leader. They're showing a lot of uh, defensive uh, solidity. And, you know, they simply bottled up Lazio once they took the lead. And, uh, and, and, and Lazio really had no, no answers. Um, interesting to see now how they, how they respond going forward. No shot probably at Champions League for AC Milan, but certainly at the Europa League. You think they could catch Roma? Um... Roma are such a mess right now that 
um, you know, it, it could be of Roma's own making if, if they keep if they keep dropping. I mean, certainly Mila need to go on a run. Having a fit Ibrahimovic uh, no doubt helps. Having Rebic scoring those goals, um, I think it's I think it, it, it's won a game or something silly like that uh, in in 2020. Um, that'll help too. I think we'll have a lot of answers uh, after uh, after the Juve game because you know this is this is kind of a uh, another test for them. Obviously, they played them in the Coppa Italia, but you know you can kind of chuck that game out the window because uh, of the early red card for Rebic. Um, but yeah, I think Milan are capable of of getting a result uh, in this game. It'll give us a real test, I think, of their medal and, and what kind of run uh, they can go on. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.